So we have a statement from the family that I'd like to share. We as a family are extremely happy with Judge Clay's decision to find Officer Mesley guilty of murder. Got a holding order, I should say. I'll put it here. That he will go to trial for murder, in other words. We realize that this case is not over until there's a change, or until there's a charge of murder by a jury. We are certain that by the moral justice we live by as a family, we will get justice, whether it be by God's justice or man's justice. Justice will be achieved. The people of the community, we as a family, and society as a whole need to see and know that police officers are also held accountable to follow the laws of justice. That's right. You know, and that last witness that came up, we had asked the question that if this was an accident, Mentally would have stated that to his parents. We truly believe that. And his parents would have made a public apology for their son's mistake. That didn't happen. Why? Because this was no accident or mistake. And that's our belief. Our nephew, my nephew, my sister's son was murdered. And we could see and hear through all the testimony of what had happened. Can you share how you're feeling? Yeah. I'm hurt. I'm sad. But I know justice is going to be served. And no matter if Nesley gets found guilty, it still is not going to bring Oscar back. Right. But what I do want the community to be aware of, the police officers to be aware of, that when they handle situations, they need to have more sensitivity. They need to be able to really analyze the situation before jumping and making a decision. And I believe that that did not happen. I believe it only took 13 minutes before my son was shot and killed. And that is no time. You really need to analyze and take a step and look at the situation before you pull out your gun and kill someone. And that's what I want to be known in the future so that others do not have to endure what my family, what I am personally, what my daughter, what Oscar's daughter is enduring. And we don't want anyone else to feel like that. Even if Mezzanine goes to jail, his family is going to be hurt just like my family. They're, they're, they will have a loss just like I will have a loss. But their loss, they'll be able to go see. My loss, I have to go to the graveside and look at my son's headstone. And this could have been prevented and avoided had the officers used more constraint, more care, be more objective, be more concerned about protecting and serving rather than killing and then trying to cover up. And Bart needs to take a stand and do something about it. The other officers who were on the platform, one officer came and said, that she knew she was going to have to shoot and kill someone, I mean, she, that's unacceptable. You still have her employed. That is a threat to society. That's right. That's right. That's right. Something must be done. That's, that's right. right. Amen. 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 Thank you. Yes, I do. I just wanted to share with everyone, and I want to share with the world, you know, for myself. And I know that a lot of people feel in this way. You know, I have two sides of feeling. One, I'm able to finally get a tiny bit of closure and accept the fact that my nephew is not here anymore. Uh, secondly, there's a door that kind of opens for me that makes me finally believe there's an ounce, you know, left where I can believe in the judicial system. So that's all I want to share, that this was really was something for me. Yeah. And I do understand there's a long road ahead, but at least I have a little belief now. 
that could impose the company. This is another uncle? Kenny? Darryl. 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 Kenny. Okay. Um, I've sat through and listened to all the testimonies inside the courtroom. The officers who testified in court are they are, should be ashamed of themselves. They are supposed to be standing up for justice, and they lie in court under oath. I, I, I find that the worst thing that they could ever do. They shot my nephew, and they're going to lie about it to cover up for each other. That is something they should be held accountable for. They shouldn't be able to walk away, and they act like they are immune to justice, and that should not be. We need to look at what they've done, and then they need to be taken out and taken care of. They need to either be fired, suspended, whatever, but they need to be taken care of for their actions in court, especially in court, because that's where they're supposed to be telling the truth. And the video shows what they say is not what happened. So I'm sorry.